everybody, Lammy here, and welcome to another holiday-themed video. If you've been following me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, then you will know that Sprinkles, a few days ago, left us supplies for us to make our own custom ornaments. Now, he gathered some of the things that we already had in our house, but he did give us clear glass ornaments to fill with all sorts of things. There's so many different variations that you could do with this. So yeah, let's get started. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright guys, so there's lots of different ways that you can make ornaments. There's a lot of different things that you can put inside them to make them special and custom made. But here are some of the supplies that Sprinkles left out for us. And some of this is ours, but he did bring us the glass ornaments that you see there to the right. So Mom's going to get started and we're going to show you how this works. If you do have empty glass ornaments, make sure that you get your parents' help so you don't cut yourself in the glass. But the first thing that you want to do to start filling them is you want to take out the top. So you take out this little top, you just lay that aside, and you will see the opening now. And that is where we'll be putting inside our supplies. Now this is sharp right here guys, you could cut yourself, so that's why I said that you should get your parents' assistance. So, you sit your ornament down, make sure it doesn't roll off the table or anything, and what you're going to need is a funnel. Now, we don't have a funnel, so what we did is we just made one here out of a piece of paper. We just rolled up one end to make like a small opening, and we're going to pour our supplies in the top so that way it goes down into the ornament better. Also, do it on a surface that you can easily wash off just in case you do end up spilling anything. So first things first, we're going to be making in this video a hot chocolate one, just so you can see what it would look like when we're done. So let's get started. First, we're going to be taking one packet of the Swiss Miss hot chocolate mix. Um, you can use this or you could use cocoa powder, which we have here is unsweetened cocoa powder. You could use any type of hot chocolate mix that you'd like. And we're just gonna flip that a little and we're gonna open it up. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking the powder and pouring it inside of here. Now this, because of the way the packaging is, I don't need the funnel for this because I can pour it in like this. So watch closely. Pour that in there like that. So there you have it guys. You have your hot chocolate in the bottom of this ornament. So you give it a little bit of a shake so that way it settles out a little bit. And now we're gonna move on to the next layer. For the next layer, we're going to be using jet puffed mallow bits, which are little marshmallow bits, which would remind you of the ones that come inside of the hot chocolate packets. However, they never give enough marshmallows, I don't think. So we're gonna be adding these. All right, so there you have your little marshmallow bits. All right, so I went and grabbed a little glass like this with a small opening. So that way I can take my ornament and sit it right like that so that holds the ornament up for me while I use my funnel and the marshmallows to get them in there easier. So I'm gonna take my funnel, put it over the opening of the ornament, and pour in some marshmallows. Oops, they're kinda going everywhere. So if you do not have a funnel or didn't want to make one, you can always use your clean hands. Just make sure your hands are clean and you can take these decorations and everything and just layer them right on in there like so. There you go. And now you have a layer of marshmallows that has now been added. For extra festive, you could add some sprinkles like we have here. All right, everyone, so there's the funnel. So I'm just going to hold this up to the ornament. I'm gonna hold that up to the ornament like that and I'm going to sprinkle some in. So there you have it guys. It is nice and festive for the holiday. You have your little sprinkles in there. So there is a close-up view. You have your layer of the hot chocolate, marshmallows, and your little sprinkles. You can give them a little shake so that way some of those um, little marshmallows pop to the top. And that is how you do that ornament. So then what we'll need to do is we'll need to take the top, put the top back on, very carefully. This is why I say you should get your parents help because this glass, you don't want it to break or cut you. And there is your hot chocolate Christmas ornament. All right, so we have our hot chocolate in there like we did before. This time we're going to be adding some of these milk chocolate morsels which we had for our chocolate spoons video. And um, these probably would not fit through the funnel very easily. So we're gonna be adding these one at a time. So this is gonna take me a few minutes, so I will be right back. 
All right, everyone, so now we have a layer of chocolate morsels in there. So we have our hot chocolate, chocolate morsels. I'm going to pop in more of these little marshmallows because you can't have hot chocolate without marshmallows. Isn't that right, Lammy? Absolutely, Mom. All right, so I won't put in as many marshmallows in this one as I did the last one, but there we go. So now we have a sprinkling of the marshmallows and I'm going to take some of these sprinkles. I'm gonna take more of these sprinkles and put them on in. All right, so there is our extra chocolate, hot chocolate with marshmallows and sprinkles. So let's put the lid on that one. All right, guys, so there you have your two different ornaments. And as you can see, you can do any type of combination for these ornaments. You could use, like I said before, you could use craft supplies to put glitter and things in them. These we decided to do food themed, so that way it could be like hot chocolate Christmas ornaments. So this one has extra chocolate in it. This one's just regular with a little bit of the Christmas sprinkles. So let's go put them on the tree. All right, I see a really nice spot right here on the tree to hang one of them right here. Now make sure, guys, that you, you attach them to a hook and that they hang really securely to the tree so they don't fall and break or anything. So there's a good spot for one, and then I'm gonna put one up here a little higher. All right, so there's an up-close view right there of our extra chocolate, hot chocolate ornament. Lemmy, what do you think? I think it looks delicious. Do you wanna eat it? No supplies to make it from scratch so let's leave this ornament there like that so that way it can look pretty yep there you go where's the other one mom show me the other one where's the other one uh, the other one is right up here so that's the one that's just the regular hot chocolate one Aw, pretty cool, huh, guys? So, yeah, if you guys end up making any of these ornaments, uh, let me know. Send me a picture um, on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And, uh, yeah, that's what ours look like. Oh, I just love them. I think they're so unique and creative. Thank you for sending us those ornament sprinkles. Alrighty, guys, so that's this video on how to make your own unique Christmas ornaments. You can custom make them. If you like white chocolate, dark chocolate, any types of specific candy, you can put anything you want inside these ornaments as long as it fits through the hole. <laughs> anyway, guys, have you ever made these before? Let me know in a comment below what you think. Also, be sure to subscribe because I have a ton more Christmas videos coming up this season. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time, guys. Bye.